This is the last lecture for chapters 21 through 22. And uh, I believe it's the sixth one we have going here. So two different ways of dealing with some hazardous waste or whatever waste you might have um, in your location. One is with bioremediation in which you're using bacteria or a natural process to try to break down this material kind of on site or it could be uh, you know transported someplace else but much easier on site. And then the second one is phytoremediation in which you're using plants to try to remove materials. But uh, a nice example of this is over at the Henry Ford. They use both of these methods because once upon a time Ford would fully admit this. I saw a lecture on it once upon a time that the Rouge factory is the mother of all brown fields. It was, is, and still is uh, terribly contaminated. Uh, once upon a time, they employed over 100,000 people just at that plant. And they produced and dumped all sorts of waste all over that place. But they uh, have done uh, an amazing job of trying to be green and uh, treat these materials uh, in a somewhat natural manner to try to clean up the, the plant. So as far as storage of these materials, there's a couple different ways we can try to get rid of it. One is this deep well uh, disposal, which they, I believe, have in Romulus. It was very controversial several years ago, many years ago, in which you pretty much, uh, it's kind of like fracking, except the other way around. You're not pulling materials up, you're pushing materials down. So you have this steel and cement cased well, which goes very, very deep, um, hopefully below any potential water. And you just pump this hazardous liquid material into the bedrock way down there and hope you never see it again. Um, obviously um, that's kind of an unusual way of disposing of waste. The other one is just to entomb it and hope again you never see it again. Uh, I would think a better method would be through in proper incineration instead of just kind of closing up and hoping it goes away. And again this is that secondary method um, we just looked at here as far as entombing the waste and hoping you don't see it. And this last little bit here is just kind of going through uh, just a few different things that uh, you can do in your homes uh, to try to be a little more environmentally friendly, not using as many harmful chemicals, not so much even just for you in your home, but just, you know, production. If we use things that are much more natural, uh, we don't have to worry about uh, these things getting into the environment. And something of the same similar idea here as far as lead poisoning and uh, things that you know you can you know do to prevent the amount of some of these materials from getting out into the environment. One more for mercury. You can go ahead and read this on your own. And that is the end of the lecture.